Hello friends, welcome to Instrumentation for You channel. In today's video, we will see what is the fail shape position of the wall, how many types of fail shape positions are available, and what is it. And also, we will see why and where we use this fail shape position. What is fail to open position? What is fail to close position? So let's first we see what is the fail shape position of the wall, friends. We all know that in process industries, control wall is required to control the process parameters like temperature, pressure, level, and fluid flow rate. To control the actuator of the control wall, we require either pneumatic, hydraulic, or electrical power. And in industries, wall are usually pneumatic operated, which means that these walls are based on air pressure. Air pressure has to be given. To open or close the wall, as the wall is set, this air pressure acts on piston, diaphragm, or springs which are inside the actuator for creating a force to move the wall stem. These pneumatic actuators are spring to close or spring to open, and provide a movement in the actuator by compressing or expanding the spring with the air pressure. But imagine that what will happen. When the control signal or the power signal that controlling the control wall has been fails, then how will we control the process? How will we keep the plant in safe condition? That's why it is so important to choose the correct fail safe position in the control wall. Yes, fail safe position. In a control wall, the fail safe position indicates that how the wall should work when the control signal or power signal fails. This fail safe position of the wall is a safety precaution that protects the process in emergency situation. Control wall has a few different fail safe position, and each has its own results and safety effects. In the case of power fail or signal fail, a control wall mainly consists of three fail safe positions: one, fail to open; second, fail to close; third, fail in place. Or fail in last position. Out of these three fail safe position, what we have to choose depends on the process. So let us see in detail what are these three fail safe positions of the control wall. First, fail to open position. Fail to open control walls are also called spring to open or air to close control walls. Fail to open position is defined as when there is a fail of power signal or control signal. The wall would open. That means whenever the actuator's power signal or control signal fails, the wall becomes open. And this position is called the fail to open position of the wall. Such control walls require air pressure to keep the wall closed. But whenever the actuator's power signal or control signal fails, due to any reason, then the required air pressure of the actuator. Decreases and the valve plug of the valve move toward the open position due to the spring of the actuator, and and due to control valve this position this is called fail to open position of the valve. Now we will see when we will use the fail to open position of the control valve and where we use it. So let's see in detail. In the heat exchanger. The control valve that controlling the flow rate of the cooling water should be failed to open, so that whenever the power signal or control signal fails, then the control valve enters the fully open position. Then the remaining hot process fluid is cooled by the cooling water. Thus, overheating and critical component can be prevent from the damage. Our second example is the control valve which is regulating the pressure of the tank. Should be fail to open so that whenever the power signal or control signal fails, that time the control valve enters the fully open position so that the pressure inside the tank remains below the dangerous pressure limit, and thus the tank can be protected from being overpressurized when the valve is failed. Now we will see second fail safe position, fail to close position. Fail to close control valves are also called spring to close. Or air to open control valves. The fail to close position is defined as 
when there is a fail of power signal or control signal the valves would close that means whenever the power signal or control signals of the actuator fails the valve becomes close and this position is called fail to close position of the valve such control valves require air pressure to keep the valve open but whenever the actuator's power signal or control signal fails due to any reason then the required air pressure of the actuator decreases and the valve plug of the valve move toward the closed position because of the actuator spring and control valve this position is called fail to close position now we will see when and where we use this fail to close position of the control valve for example in the heat exchanger the control valve that controlling the flow rate of the steam must be failed to close so that whenever the power signal or control signal fails the control valve is enter in the fully closed position to prevent overheating of the remaining fluids now consider that there is a fail to open valve instead of fail to close now if the control signal fails the valve is enter in fully open position and the maximum heat is transferred to the process fluids and process fluid temperature is increase without any control so it is very important to choose the correct fail safe position of the control valve now our second example for fail to close position is tank level control valve the control valve that controlling the level of the tank should be fail to close so that whenever the power signal or control signal fails the control valve come to fully close position then the tank level remains below the overflow limits and in this way the tank can be saved from overflow if the valve is fails over third fail safe position is fail in place or fail in last position fail in place control valves are also called fail in last position control valve fail in place position is defined as when there is a fail of power signal or control signal the valve does not change its position it means that valve does not change its position and react when power is lost these fail in place positions will be useful when the process cannot be shut down or where it is not necessary to stop the process normally the electrically actuated valves remains at their last position when the power signal is failed in the event of supply pressure loss that time to keep the pneumatic or hydraulic valves in fail in last position air pressure is trapped in the actuator's diaphragm or piston chamber with the help of external device friends if you like this video then you will subscribe my channel instrumentation for you and press the bell icon to see more instrumentation related videos so let us now see how fail to open fail to close and fail in last position are represented in piping and instrumentation diagram means in pnid and other process safety information drawing valve fail mode can be indicated in pnid or other instrumentation drawing by either an arrow pointed in the direction of the valve fail or fc denoted to be fail to close fo denoted to be fail to open and fl is denoted to be fail in last position thank you